absolutely wonderful and so is the book and I think and I've said it a number of times that um, the music and text in South Pacific are at least a, uh, as good as a number of operas. Uh, as well as that uh, this piece has a lot to say I think to Australians in the 21st century the whole idea of uh, mixed marriages it's a fantastic cast we couldn't have had a better, better cast actually we couldn't have dreamt that we would have all of these people in the one show I mean watching Lisa McCune work is just it's an education apart from anything else she's phenomenally talented Nellie is, um, she's come to the South Pacific with the US um, Marines as a, as a nurse and, uh, and, and she has this uh, incredible experience that changes her life and the direction of her life and you know she calls herself a, an optimist and she kind of dives into things head first and meets this man and um, has to make some decisions about her life but then finds out things about him that perhaps um, won't make for a very easy future for them and so they kind of we started in a perfect world and then it just kind of all splinters. It's really nice in a musical, you know, you can kind of have, um, I, I do so much television that's kind of, it doesn't have an ending, you know, we keep going with series television, whereas um, something like South Pacific has a beginning, middle and end and your journey is very definite and it's charted and it's finished and, uh, and you get the darkness <laughs> and uh, it's, it's a fantastic piece to do, just fantastic. They do it so well, Rogers and Hammerstein. Uh, the role that Teddy's singing, Emile de Beck, was written for Ezio Pinza, who was one of the greatest basses of all time, sang at the Metropolitan Opera. And so, and Petty, Teddy, sorry, is uh, one of the greatest uh, bass baritones in the world now. And um, I always wanted him to do it. In fact, I didn't ever think of anyone else doing it. First of all, it's a, it's a transition for me because it's the first musical I've done. So, but um, as you say, it was written for an opera singer, so the music sort of sits really well for the operatic voice. Um, and uh, well, his two songs do so. I just, I just bring what I've got to it, and uh, you know, just <laughs> hope that it works. I'm, you know, it's a. Uh, it and does. Does it work? Oh, that's it does. You've got to be taught to be afraid of people's eyes are not made. James Mixer told a wonderful story on an, on an interview show years ago that he, when South Pacific opened in New Haven. Um, he was on a train platform going back to New York and somebody went up to him and said, no, you're Michener, right? He said, yeah. He said, I saw the show. I, that's a really good show. Cut that song about you've got to be carefully taught. Nobody wants to hear that. And Michener said, no, wait a minute. That's what the show's about. So I think, you know, it, it, it was honest to the story. I mean, what's interesting about Rodgers and Hammerstein is you'll never find that they added something that didn't belong within the story, didn't come out of the story. But I think Rodgers and Hammerstein were humanitarians enough that they knew that we needed progress here. And to be able to, to deal with the story of South Pacific with Nellie Forbush, who is able to overcome her prejudice. I mean, it's a wonderful scene on the beach at the end where she says it was all piffle.